channel today is tuesday i did not vlog yesterday because i was kind of just like hitting reset and catching up on work if you guys watched my last vlog you guys know it's been a crazy few days slash weeks for me but i feel like this week we're kind of like getting back to normal just getting back into my groove girl getting back into my routines it's starting to get warmer here and i just feel like I don't know, I can kind of feel like the start of spring energy kind of approaching. You guys know how they say like the new year doesn't really start until the spring. I feel like I can really feel that now. Like I really feel like winter, all the shedding, all the releasing is like hopefully over for me. All the craziness and like, I don't know, 2023 was a crazy year for me. And I feel like it was like really ending out at the beginning of 2024. Whereas now I'm like, okay, it's really like a new year. Like, let's start, like, let's start fresh. This is like the last week of February slash going into March. I want to do like a 30 day challenge. I was inspired by Brianna. I think her name is Brianna Monique. I really like her like content. She makes like very cool, like soft girl, soft life kind of content. And I was watching one of her most recent videos and she was saying that she did a 30 day challenge just to kind of like get herself back on track, like with her healthy habits and stuff. And so I decided to kind of give myself the same thing. And I like the idea of like creating your own 30 day challenge and not like following someone else's. So let me get my phone and I'll share with you guys what I'm doing. So um, for the next 30 days, I want to wake up before 8.30 every day, which I know is like not that big of a deal to some people, but girl, sometimes I'd be sleeping in. I want to wake up and do yoga slash meditate slash drink my water before I walk Deku. So I've gotten into the bad habit of like skipping my morning yoga flow and I feel like I can feel the effects of it, especially since moving to New York. I think it's because I think it's because it's so cold here. I really like feel my body craving yoga more and just stretching and movement. I'm gonna put you guys down because it's really difficult for me to hold this here. Um, wait, let's go to my room because I feel like the lighting is better over there. I just like the lighting in here so much better. Also, I don't know how I'm feeling about the hair. Like, I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's so... The thing is, I feel like you get braids to take a break from taking care of your natural hair. And I got these bohemian ass braids where it's like, I have to still take care of it. I still have to do it in the mornings. And I did not really do it today. And it's like so much hair that it just like looks kind of messy. Anyways, my 30 day challenge, I want to wake up before 8.30. I want to do yoga and meditate every single day and drink like a lot of water in the morning before I walk Deku. I also would like to do no DoorDash for 30 days <laughs> because if you guys know me, I have kind of a problem with like ordering delivery for food. It's just so convenient and easy. And I got to a point where I like bought this like DoorDash like membership that you can have. Girl, I need to stop. I need to stop. Like it's ridiculous. I just feel so much better when like I'm cooking my own meals. So I really want to get back to cooking and I actually meal prepped on Sunday. I wish I would have started the vlog a few days ago because I really have like, I set myself up for a really, really good week. I deep cleaned on Sunday. I planned out my week. I made this 30 day challenge. I meal prepped. So yeah, no DoorDash and then reading before bed and also getting into bed, not even getting into bed. I put no phone slash electronics after 10 p.m. So I notice for myself when it comes to my sleep schedule, the key is to sleep with my phone across the room, but also getting in bed by a certain time and reading. Like reading fiction books is really what helps me fall asleep. So I've really, really been getting back into my reading bag, which is actually so much fun. I think that going on that trip with the girls, who some of them, if you guys didn't watch the vlog, some of them do book content and like talking to them just really, really inspired me to like start reading again more, reading more again. Um, so I've been reading I just finished this book called Evelyn Hugo, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I used to be so deep in like nonfiction, self-improvement, self-help, spirituality books. I used to eat those up, but like it got to a point where it's like, I don't know, I just feel like it gets kind of old. Like I feel like there's only so, like, I definitely am still a fan of nonfiction. I'm actually so, I'm reading a nonfiction book right now. I'm reading two books right now. I'm reading, cause I'm in a book club with my sisters and my mom. So we're doing, we're reading this book by Rick Rubin called The Creative Act. You guys have probably seen it before. It's really good so far. Reading that, but I'm also reading, for my fiction book, I'm reading this book called Ele Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine, which is such a good book. Kalila recommended it. It's like one of her favorite books. 
Girl, I'm obsessed with it. Like, I literally am almost done with it and I've read it. I started it like a few days ago. So I've been really, really getting back into reading fiction. And I'm just finding that like I'm really, really enjoying it. Also, I just got two books from the bookstore. Let me show you. I have them right here. Sorry, I've been like really into books recently. So if you guys don't care about this, you can skip it. But um, I just went to the bookstore because I went and picked up my, um, my friend Adrian is an author. He's a published author now, which is insane. And he um, made this book called The Black Yearbook, which I will actually link below. Let me go get it so I can show it to you guys. One second. I feel like I'm just getting old like I can feel my bones like that's why I have to start stretching more so I'm like girl I'm not no freaking 20 19 20 year old 19 year old anymore like I have to stretch in the mornings it's crazy so my friend Adrian who I went to school with I went to college with him at the University of Texas he's an artist and he's just so talented. He made, when we were in school, he made this book called The Black Yearbook, which basically was a documentation of the black experience. I don't know why I'm talking like that, I'm sorry. It's a documentation of the black experience, like at a PWI. And he basically like just, he like doc, he, like he went around and like interviewed and photographed a bunch of students at the, at the University of Texas. And he made this thing called The Black Yearbook. And it was like a, this really, really, really cool thing. Then a few years later, he published an actual the black yearbook and this is like a documentation of people across different colleges across like the country so um he visited hbcus he visited pwis he visited i think even like some community colleges and some trade colleges and he just like went through and interviewed and like this is like the coolest thing ever he went through and he like photographed and like literally just interviewed and talked to so many different black students at these universities i'm trying to find a picture that kind of like represents it well i haven't even gone through this whole book yet um so he has like these documentations of these different people and like their experiences um at these different colleges and just like talking about again the black experience um like in higher education so it's just like the coolest thing ever i was just like so I, i'm so proud of him so he has these books um i wanted to go to like a, a local bookstore here in brooklyn and go pick one up and like just get like i want to get him to like actually sign it this is already a signed copy but i probably he lives here in new york um so i might get him to sign it regardless but anyways i went to the store to go pick that up and then i ended up getting some more books which i'm super super excited to read because i'm almost done with the eleanor the eleanor oliphant book um so i got these two books cleopatra and frankenstein i heard a lot of good things about this on tiktok and then i also got this book called the left hand of darkness which i found this like actually on reddit um i really really enjoy reading sci-fi books like some of my favorite all-time fiction books are Ready Player One and Ender's Game. So I really want to get back into reading sci-fi. So I feel like book like book talk, the book, the side of TikTok that I'm on that talks about books, they do share a lot of books that are more like romance and more, it's either like romance or like thriller, like um, Colleen Hoover type books. And I like those for sure. I feel like those books did help me kind of get back into reading, but I do want to get back into like reading like other types of books. So anyways, I found this on Reddit and some people were talking about this author who makes like these really cool sci-fi books. So I'm excited to try this out and see how I like it. So yeah, I'm just really excited to get back into reading and like kind of building that into my schedule. And I really do feel confident about this challenge that I'm doing because I feel like it's it's gonna be pretty easy for me. It's just a matter of like getting into my flow. And if I do fall off one day, like not giving up and just like picking myself back up and just keep going. So I think my biggest, again, I tell you guys this all the time, my biggest challenge is my sleep schedule. At night, it's so hard for me to fall asleep. And I just really, really want to work on that. And I think that that's really going to improve a lot of different areas in my life so anyways today's gonna be a good day i have a lot of work to do on the computer i have some stuff to do to my due to my accountant um which i've been putting off for a while so i need to get that done that's like first priority um and then i also need to do like a few edits on a video um i have a video going live tomorrow and i'm still waiting to hear back from the brand but i want to make some edits anyways just because like i have it's a really long vlog and i just want to kind of cut it down a little bit so i'm gonna be on the computer for like a good chunk of today also looking at my nails like if i'm gonna do anything this week i need to get my nails done like because i just cannot look at them i also need to facetime my friend because we talked about facetiming this morning so i'm probably gonna call her really quickly oh yeah i'm gonna call her right now I miss you. How have you been? What's well, good, you guys? It's a little bit later. Um, it's actually like 8 o'clock right now. I like finished my day way later than I had intended. I've been working all day. 
been working on that video all day just because there's like so many edits that I had to make for the brand. I've never had a brand be like super strict on like on what music I can use in my vlogs. So I basically had to go through and like change all the music in my vlogs, which kind of sucked because I'm very particular about the music that I use. So anyways, that just took me a long time. And the, the vlog is also very, very long. So, and I just was... <laughs> I'm also like, I don't know why, but I was like getting paranoid editing it. Cause I was like, I don't want to like, girl, let me stop talking about it because I just don't want to add any more. Like I'm just par like I'm literally paranoid now about everything. I have not yet posted to YouTube since getting my channel back. So I'm like extra paranoid because I obviously want to talk to you guys about what's going on. But I'm scared to post that video because I'm just like, I don't want any, I don't want to piss anyone off. I don't want to mess up my, I, I know there's like an algorithm. Girl, I'm just paranoid and I'm just like, I'm just trying to do my job. I'm just trying to make videos and laugh with you guys and talk with you, talk with you guys about philosophical stuff. Like I just am trying to live my life, girl. I'm not trying to have to overthink all this stuff. So anyways, um, that was just taking me forever. <sighs> Girl, I'm exhausted. I think it's also because I'm on my period, but I really wanted to order food. But I'm trying to stick with the cooking. So here we are. I have some veggies that I already prepped on Sunday. So I was like, let me just make this. I was doing salmon bowls for the past few days and I just finished that. So I'm just gonna pop this into the air fryer, probably drizzle it in like some oil and some like seasoning and stuff. I'll show you. I'm having another one of those days where I'm about to have to cancel plans, bro. <laughs> that rain is, I can't function this weather. I really thought I was gonna be able to be a busybody again, but we're gonna have to wait till spring really hits cause I cannot, <laughs> I cannot do it. I'm so sorry, I cannot do it. And I feel so bad cause I keep trying to like catch up with people who I've not seen yet since I moved out here. Girl, no, I'm, uh, it's pouring rain, I'm like, uh, how do people function like this? I don't know why I have like no energy right now. Oh my God, there's someone like across the way and they have the cutest lamp and it's exactly the kind of style that I want for either this room or one of my other rooms. It's like this like circle. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Oh, I cannot wait to do this room. I cannot wait to be done with it and like have it actually look cute. I'm still waiting on this brand to approve this vlog so I can finally get it up. And I'm getting so antsy and anxious because I have not talked to y'all. Like I haven't posted in a week since my channel was reinstated a week ago and I still have not posted yet. But I've been having to wait because I have to get the brand video up. Should have had my stuff ready, but I didn't, but it's all good. So yeah, I've literally been on the computer all day. Um, I got this. Mugler perfume. I need to shoot a Instagram reel for that, but I just have been putting it off because I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me, so maybe I'll shoot that today. 
ugh, I'm just not in the mood to be on camera. And it's crazy because I got my hair done. I was like, oh, I'm going to be like so like in the mood to get out and blah, blah. Girl, no. No. I am cleaning my dishes right now. I'm watching Love is Blind. Y'all, I'm 10 minutes into Love is Blind. That Matthew, he's an actor. Like, there's no <laughs> There is no way he's real. Because <laughs> this is said. I think I can show it because I think I might get copyrighted. But this is in the pods of reading a book while everybody's talking right next to him saying, why does this guy not talk? <laughs> and watch, he's going to get a girl. I just know he's going to get a girl because some girl is going to, like, there's going to be so many girls that are going to be so wooed over by him. I can already see it. I'm like, at this point, this show is so popular. Sorry, my camera died like usual. Um, what was I saying? I just feel like this show is so popular that it's at a point where it's like they're definitely probably hiring people or at least they're probably like there's maybe people coming on the show like maybe faking personalities so that they can seem more interesting or maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just being judgmental, but I'm like that nigga, there's no, there's no way he's real. And a lot of the characters on the show, if you notice like a lot of seasons, they get, they like bring back the same kind of like personality type. If that makes sense, like Matt reminds me of the lawyer from not the last season, but the season before that. Like the really awkward guy who like had all that drama with the other girl. They do this in so many reality TV shows where it's like one season is super successful and then they keep trying to bring back the same person personality types of those characters in the big season, if that makes sense. Like I feel like Love, Love Island also does that. I don't know if it's just a thing. I feel like I've like watched a lot of TikTok, so maybe that's just why I'm like making these assumptions, but... Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I can't believe I'm already sucked into this season. I told myself I was not gonna watch it just because I was like, oh, like I'm over reality TV. But honestly, I saw this TikTok the other day and someone was like the smartest people you know watch reality TV. And I low-key kind of agree because I feel like in a way, like especially when I watch Love Island, Love is Blind, like dating shows, Are You The One? You guys remember Are You The One on MTV? When I watch those, I always, I feel like it's like a psychology. It's like literally one big like social experiment. And I was always really into sociology when I was in high school. So I feel like that, like psychology, sociology, that kind of stuff just really interests me. And these things are like experiments. So I'm like, I would love to, oh my God, maybe that's what I'll do. I would love to work in production at like a reality TV show imagine that would be so much fun but like i would like to be like behind the scenes and like a producer who like helps like with like the um just like the people and like what's happening and like the storylines i'm telling you with reality tv there's so much that goes into it that we probably don't see and i just find it so interesting so maybe that will be my next job we'll see um anyways i'm just doing my dishes right now i'm like watching the show on my phone I can't see the TV from here. So I'm gonna do my dishes. I told myself, I was like, let me just finish my dinner. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna do my dishes now so I don't like put it off and then don't do it. And then we will relax and watch more TV on the couch. <laughs> I just like randomly had the desire to make one. This, I have not made one since my last account got deleted, but I have an account. I just scroll on it, but let's make one. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh wait, but they don't have any songs on there anymore, right? Let's see, do they have Lloyd to you?
<laughs> Ew, I hate it. <laughs> Never mind, we're not doing that. But anyways, I'm going to work on this room a little bit because as you guys have been seeing for the past like month, I have barely worked in this room. <laughs> and I need to get some, like I just need to get it to a place where I can like just function a bit better. Um, and I, it's weird because like I kind of like digging through my clothes. Like I think there's something about the chaos of having all my clothes in these like bins. It actually inspires me to like put together outfits even more. I don't know what it is. I think it's because like there's all out like in different places it's not this it just it makes it it makes me feel like more creative more creative with putting together outfits i don't know it's really really weird but obviously eventually i need to like clean this up and get it together i just like don't know exactly how i want to do things i think i'm gonna end up getting like a styling um like a styling setup here not styling like a wardrobe set up right here like a bunch of shelves and like maybe like a hanger like something that's like not built in but like you know ikea wardrobe type vibes um but until then, we're just going to have to go out the bins. Um, but I do want to get rid of, like, this box over here. Like, there's still, like, one box left. Like, a cardboard box. I feel like that's just, like, such like, an eyesore in this room. So I'm going to do that. <sighs> I just don't feel like doing anything this week. I don't know what's going on. I'm just like, girl, don't talk to me until it's spring. Until it's warm out. I don't want to hear from anyone. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, I'm putting on music. <laughs> Look, you know I'm on top of my shit because I took out the salmon for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Y'all are gonna be so mad at me. Actually, I don't think anyone really gives a fuck at all. But I just, I completely stopped vlogging for like a day and a half and I just had the funnest day ever. Like, okay, actually I think it was good that I took a break from vlogging. It's Cause you guys know how it is. Like when you're in the vlogging mode, I feel like it's hard to be present. And today I hung out with my friend and it was so much fun. My battery is gonna die. I'm gonna change it real quick. Um, I'm about to start my dinner, so I'm gonna talk to you guys in the kitchen. We're back. One second. Let me get. Back here. I don't know what that looks there. Okay. Oh my god, my back hurts so bad. I need to do some yoga like so bad. <laughs> like it's actually like I feel so sore. Um, but yeah, oh my god, I had the best time ever today. But I didn't get any content, like no pictures, nothing. No YouTube vlog. Um, I just was like super present today. I woke up, I worked a little bit, and then I... One second, let me get my garlic. I'm just going to talk to you guys like while I cook if I'm even able to do that. I'm finally going to make my salmon tonight because I didn't make it the other night. I literally ended up, y'all, when I told y'all I was going to finish my DoorDash and then finish the room. Or no, when I told y'all I was gonna eat my lunch and then finish the room, I stay on the couch for the rest of the night, order DoorDash, and literally watch Love is Blind for like, I think I watched like three or four episodes of Love is Blind, and I'm about to finish it tonight, so it was really good, and I'm really sucked into it now, but did not cook my salmon, so I need to make that tonight. I do like my salmon rice bowls that I always do, but I have some Brussels sprouts. I need to see if they're, they might be, hold on. So I want to tell y'all, I want to tell y'all about how fun today was. These expired on the 18th of February and it's March 1st. Okay. I mean, they smell fine, but they have like black stuff on them. Should I make them? <laughs> I'm not going to make them. I'm gonna make my squash instead, which I literally have been eating for the past few days. Like I already made some, but that's what happens when you get at home. It's boring. So okay, anyways, I um literally ordered DoorDash. What did I order for DoorDash? I ordered 
um, pretzels and goldfish. That was my dinner last night. So tonight I'm gonna make myself a proper meal. But basically today was really fun. I hung out with my friend. We ended up meeting up and like going around to some different galleries in Tribeca, which was really, really fun. And like one of the first few galleries that we went to, it was like this cool ass lady who looked like Luann from Real, House of New from Real Housewives of New York. If you guys know what Luann looks like, she looked just like her. And she was like, do you guys wanna see my studio? And she walked us back to her studio I kid you because we were just like we're talking to her and she just like was really cool and she was like yeah like come look at my studio her studio looked like something out of a fucking movie literally looked like a movie set like it looked like an artist studio like imagine it up like when you picture an artist studio in new york city in a movie that's what it literally looked like and i was like oh, like oh my god she had these grapes on this freaking um table in the back she's like do you guys want some wine just so cool now that i think about it i'm like was it kind of like sketchy like was it weird but she was really really cool and i don't know like it just like was really really good vibes so oh i'm definitely burning this okay, one second let me put my life together so anyways we like walked around like all these other different galleries and then we ended up at this like art gallery show and it was like full of people it was like an event in tribeca and like we got to talk to different artists and just meet different people i was like really intimidated at first because we also smoked right before so i was like very paranoid <laughs> i was like um it's crowded in there i was like i don't know if we should go in there and he was like no it's fine like let's just go so we went in and it was so cool it was just very much giving like new york like just going going on an adventure and it was just really really fun because i feel like i don't do that kind of stuff that often because y'all know i barely leave the house so it was really fun but i'm really sad that i didn't vlog but i'm also kind of glad that i didn't because i feel like i was really present and i also haven't seen this person in years anyways i don't know um it was a good time so yeah i'm gonna make this salmon and i'm literally gonna chill and like i said wash love is blind because the season is so good i'm sorry it's like good like I was avoiding it. I don't know why I'm doing this when I haven't even cut the salmon. Like what? Tomorrow, I really need to film a sit-down video, which I'm like set on doing. Like I'm not gonna give myself any excuses. I'm just gonna film it. Um, and then I need to edit it because I really want to get it up by Sunday. Okay, this does not look good. Like, why is it red? Should I eat it? I don't know if I should. Um, I'm just gonna eat it. So, um, I have that and then I'm going to the Met tomorrow with another person, which I'm really, really excited about. So yeah, it's just like a really fun, exciting, art-filled weekend. And again, I wish I had vlogged at least something. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to accept the fact that like I am going to experience some things and not vlog them. Okay, this is disgusting. Like, I thought this was gonna be, like, so cute. Like, Nara Smith ass shit. I'm literally spilling, like... Okay, anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna make the salmon. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. it is sunday i apologize i have been such a bad vlogger this week i just have been playing catch up and editing like literally all weekend i also did a youtube short so girl i'm just honestly i'm so proud of myself like i feel really 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 accomplished and good definitely did not follow my 30 day challenge like let's look at it okay wake up before 8 30 i think i did that most of this week i think i had one day where i slept in a little bit later i definitely did not do yoga every single morning i did not meditate every single day I door dashed three times this weekend <laughs> just because I never went to the grocery store. I like, I'm again, I was so laser focused on work that I was like, you know what? We're going to have to door dash. And I literally door dash. I was going to go to the gym today and go pick up groceries and stuff and make like a vodka pasta for tonight. But I ended up working literally all day. I don't know like what even happened. So I ended up just door dashing some sweet green and I have some white wine that I'm going to drink with it. Reading before bed, I did, I did do that almost every single day and I did finish my book um this week and i started a new one which is really really good so i'm proud of myself for that and then i did pretty much for the most part do no phone slash electronics before 10. i think that i think that i had a few nights where i didn't do that during the week and i definitely did i was like definitely up late 
um, on the weekend. But honestly, I feel really, really good. I'm feeling really, really proud of myself, even though I didn't accomplish everything that I kind of like wanted to. I do feel like I still, like in terms of like work, I got a lot done. So I'm really, 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 really proud of myself for getting that done. And I feel like going into this week, I can be like a lot more focused on health and my routines, getting back in the gym and all that stuff. So I'm actually just gonna spend the rest of tonight just like planning, um, planning out my week, like just getting, you know, my calendar updated. Um, and then I also do have my book club with my family at nine. So I'm going to get ready for that. I already did read for that. We're reading the um, creative act and I already read the first 50 pages. So we're going to be talking about that tonight. And yeah, I'm just going to be kind of preparing for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and close up the vlog here. I just want to say hi one more time. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you made it to the end, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Thank you.